Okay. We have classic spells and steel. Wait, re rework classic spells and then the steel skill stuff. What is this? Um, in Battle of Exile Heist, we're introducing several new skills and reworking some past ones. Today's new post covers more detail of new skills, like Blazing Salvo, Steel Skills, and the long awaited Discharge rework. Hmm, okay. Blazing Salvo releases a torrent of fiery mortars that can hit enemies as they fly and land in a rapid succession with each mortar causing an explosion. When targeting up close, the explosion can hit a target multiple times while targeting a range causes them to spread out. Yeah. Mechanically, that's really cool. The skills reward uh, clever position, making it well suitable to casting by hand or by being careful about placement totems, traps, and mines. Multiple projectiles. Yeah, Blazing Salvo with mines on single target sounds pretty interesting. Uh, well, Fork lets, you, uh, lets the mortar split into two if they hit enemies. With each explode separately. Wait, sorry, what? Multiple projectile support results in more damage up close and more reliable area spread, while Fork lets the mortar split into two if they hit enemies. Each exploded separately. Combine with Void Spear the draw enemies for consecrated salvo or use flame fall to add fire damage to blaze over the lap player. Okay. So I, I'm I'm just I'm having an issue understanding how the fork exactly exactly works. Because it's like you lob like a like a like a like a fireball kind of. So when it when it's because it looks looks like that it's like thrown like you know in an arc. I guess I'm gonna see it. Oh, is it like you just hit it like it's like straight in line, and then it hit, hit something something on its way to the the targeted point. It just splits at that point. Yeah, it's just that it can hit the enemy. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I just I just had a, like a. When seeing the video, it looked like it lobbed like the... Like it was like throwing them, like bombs, like, you know, above, so like that kind of thing. But I guess it's not exactly like that. Yep, that uh, sounds very cool. Sounds very cool. GMP, Awaken GMP, uh, Blazing Salvo Minor when... Crackling Lance. Crackling Lance shoots out a wide beam of lightning that has secondary areas of lightning that split off it, striking enemies in a widespread. Crackling Lance comes with a built-in intensity, so each cast builds in damage while the secondary areas angle in until all the lightning fires in a single wider beam. The skill has a powerful single target damage capacity when hand cast while having reliable AoE when used with triggers, totem straps or mines, and damage bonus is multiplicative. With uh, the intensity support, allowing to build up ink. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Huh. Huh. Okay, I want to. I want. I need to see this in action. Intensity and the pinpoint support. Intensity was introduced a high risk, high reward mechanic for hand casting that you build up. Powerful consecrated damage while ha casting repeatedly, as long as you don't move and uh, the cast uh, the cost of uh, AoE. To improve the mechanic, we're lowering the base maximum intensity to three while increasing all bonuses to compensate. This will make it e faster to build up and lose intensity, while also putting more power on the past three notable. You know, that's a good change. I like that. We will change the intensity mechanic to be able to. To be one we can build into other skills and supports like Crackling Lance and the new Pinpoint support. Pinpoint support gives three additional projectiles while each stack of intensity will reduce the number of projectiles you fire by one while greatly increasing the skills damage. By increasing your maximum intensity you could lose all projectiles so this support works well it spells can easily gain additional projectiles. Huh. 
Huh. That is actually cool. Hmm. Does it only work with spells? Because there it is projectiles, but I assume the intensity is like um just a spell mechanic, right? So and they specifically say spelled here, yeah. I think the that sounds that sounds very cool. So it's it's literally just like intensive but projectiles, right? Firestorm, a classic PoE spell. Firestorm has been reworked to give it more powerful visuals, more reliable AoE coverage, and a greater reward for casting fewer, more powerful Firestorms. It's now a level 28 skill increased from level 12. Firestorm calls down a single powerful meteor, followed by a smaller ongoing storm of fire over a duration. It now has a limit on how many ongoing storms can be active at once. So you can call down as, as many meteors as you'd like, but can't stack up the ongoing firestorms by extending, extending their duration and triggering or casting their skill capital. This, is, this has allowed us to create link, increase the AOE of each impact and the overall damage we cast. And it improves performance. But my poison... But 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 my 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 my, my poison firestorm with quadzillion... Firestorms, baby hands. I mean, that look, that sounds good. Huh. It does it does sound cool? I hope it actually does some good damage as well. Ice storm skill granted by Whisper Nice has received visual overhaul to modernize the skill while also receiving some balance changes. It has a storm limit like Firestorm. Though the limit is much higher than Firestorm, so it works better with triggering and rapid cast mechanics. Its impact area we and damage has been increased while the impact frequency has been lowered. Somebody call Enki and uh, Yosis, they're crying. They they're crying with this dude. Especially the firestorm. Pepe had the GPU meltdown builds are being nerfed. Discharge is another long-standing POV skill that hasn't received much balance attention due to how dependent it has been on specific mechanics that can very rapidly generate charges. Forcing the balance to be focused on a small handful of unique items that can generate huge number of charges as quickly as you can use the skill. To make the skill more accessible, this just base damage has been almost tripled and its AV now scales significantly with the number of charges consumed, but it has been given a short cooldown. COOLDOWN! This makes up keeping charge generation much more manageable for a wider selection of builds. Its damage penalty when triggered has been replaced by damage penalty to ailments, as it now can create de very devastating ignite. To preserve the classic trigger discharge playstyle, a new threshold tool called Endless Misery has been added, which sets the cooldown of discharge to a much lower value, but also comes with penalties to its damage and AoE, bringing it closer. The superior in many was the previous iteration of this church. And a visual overhaul. Okay. Hmm. The big ignite. This this sounds like a skill that the rice wants to play with because it's a devastating ignite. Okay, can't really say much until we know how, like, how low the cooldown actually is with the, uh, misery. Okay. 
Clasial Cascade. Clasial Cascade now has an additional mechanics that provide a unique playstyle that rewards clever positioning. The skill now has an inherited knockback, a fixed cascade spread, and the final burst of the cascade deals significantly more damage in a larger area. Use the knockback from the cascade to push enemies away and into large impact and position the skill carefully on bosses to make the most of the damage overlap. The skill still deals significant damage with traps and mines, but can now take much more advantage of the deliberate position the totems and hand casting allows. You can also do that with toad, uh, with mines. Yeah, this, this sounds like thunder, but a spell. Also, the, this chains has obviously... The reason they're chasing it and they're including the devastating ignite is obviously to bring back Crip. And uh, wanna see a self-cast ignite discharge come back that's this is obviously for that okay the skill benefits greatly from ink aoe allowing for more overlap between bursts we also change the skill to convert all of the damage yes thank you no enchantment or threshold tool is regarded to fully convert the skill we're replacing the enchantment and disabling the long winter threshold from dropping to be introduced in a new form later yes this is good i like this I really like that. Good job. Good job with that change. Oh, it still sounds like it's gonna be great for miners, honestly. Because you can throw them you can throw the mines you know far away from the target as well. You don't have to throw the mines right on top of the target. <clears throat> Splitting Steel. Splitting Steel is a new lo low level skill that uses the shard mechanic. Each use fires a single shard that explodes into additional projectiles when it hits an, an enemy or reaches a target location. Uh, creating smaller shards that fly towards nearby enemies before detonating in smaller explosions. The skill has some added physical damage and chance to play, something that wasn't previously accessible at such low levels. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the, the, the one that has to explode the shoulder past earlier. Mm -hmm. Change has been made a split mechanic that means splitting now occurs before other projectile behaviors. This means that the fork pierce or chain will take place after the split has generated all of the additional projectiles over the... Oh, Okay... I, I like this. I, I like reading this much more than this. Okay, we have Call of Steel. It's a secondary skill granted as long as you have any of the Steel, gem, steel Gems equipped. Let's you generate all Impales on enemies in a very large range, causing them to deal their stored Impale damage in a small AV around them. Includes any dead enemies. Oh. 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 I like that. That's very cool. Hmm. Also, feels bad man for anyone destroying the corpses. Like imagine playing a build that uses a steel skill and then could use the call of steel to use the detonate the impales but th there's no corpses that would have impales to detonate feels bad man they better do have some big damage because of that i think call of steel also generates i mean well of course it doesn't deal damage because it's your impales right but i'm saying that i hope it has like a extra damage on on them as well when you do it i don't know i don't expect that to be the case but yeah Colossus also generates swords that can be used by any of the steel skill, generating one for each impaled enemy in range as well as four shards when first used. Then another four every half a second until your maximum 12 shards. 
Using a steel skill will interrupt this ongoing recharge, so it's best to time your use of this too, and you'll be better for other actions if you don't have enough impaled enemies nearby. Okay. So you basically just, you only use that... Man, that sounds like a horrible skill when you're just one-shotting everything anyways. Or two shot it. But I guess it doesn't I it doesn't remove them, so it's fine. Okay, I guess it's fine. Did so many skills! Shattering steel has received some changes to make the skill more flexible at the cost of consuming two shards. Shattering steel projectiles can no longer hit the same target multiple times. Ooh, rip. But instead deal much more damage up close when consuming shards. The skill now has a four additional projectiles from two and projectile distance is now more reliably modified by projectile speed. Projectiles still explode in the cone when they stop and these areas can hit a target multiple times if you can get them to overlap. The skill now grants buffs that give a chance to block whenever you use it while consuming a shard. You can have up to six of these buffs that can block chance each with its own duration, so you've got to keep using the skill frequently to keep, up, keep the bonus. This gives a sizable defensive advantage to keep you alive and getting up close. Okay. Hmm. That, this, this hurts a lot. This here hurts a lot, but I guess if the, if they make up for the lost damage, then the skill is gonna be better because you re, you needed to go in front of the enemy to actually do proper damage. Yeah, also the pinpoint. That's true. Uh, actually, wait. Does the pinpoint work with that? Because that's an attack and pinpoint. I think it's only for spells. I think the pinpoint is only for spells. Okay, Lance's has, complete, has uh, been completely reworked. Using the attack now consumes four shards, creating a whirling cluster of shards pointing forward. Cluster rapidly f fires out its projectiles, aiming towards enemies in front at a great range or enemies in any direction close to the cluster range. Wait, close the cluster. When this projectile has targeted enemies, the cluster hasn't hit first, letting the cluster pick off weaker enemies before focusing on remaining targets. Projectiles deal more damage to targets that haven't yet been hit by each cluster of shards to make the skill much more effective at taking out a very large group of enemies. Additional projectiles add to the total number of projectiles each cluster fires. With 50% more projectiles fired for each shard consumed. This means that the skill usually fires three times its number of projectiles at a fixed rate, creating a hail of shards that deal a devastating salvo of damage, especially when combined with the impale effect. You can have multiple casters active at once, limited only by how fast you generate shards. Dude, each patch they keep giving us more and more complex skills. Because of the high shard cost, you likely want to invest in chance to impale so that you got more shards in the enemies to draw. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like it, it looks like it looks like the it throws the the uh, the salvo projectiles or whatever like above everything. So that's why I was a bit confused at the big be at the beginning. It looks so cool though.
Are we serious now? That kind of looks... Dude, that looks so cool. Holy shit, that looks so cool. Oh, this is, this is with the Impulsa, by the way. That's that's using Impulsa. I, I recognize those explosions. I just, I just want to keep looking at it. It looks so good, dude. I don't know how good it is, but it, god damn it looks good. Yeah, this is, oh god, dude. It looks beautiful. It looks so good. I like how it just got frozen there. Yo, that that looks at the sound. Yeah, yeah the, the way the way it comes from an angle instead of like straight down makes it look so much better. That's true. Man, they did a really good job with the new skills. They look amazing. Okay, the updated, updated visuals on Glacial Cascade are nice. It doesn't cover your entire screen anymore. It, it really looks like Sunder though. Yeah. I mean, Sunder does a lot of damage. Oh god, the sound, dude. I wanna put my head in on for this. Okay, I'm not very, I'm not very sold on the lancing steel. The shattering steel looks fine, honestly. It looks good. It looks like it has some decent AOE still. I mean, this is a six link too. Okay, okay, never mind. It does have a decent range. And it, it is, it has out target, right? So it's kind of nice. Okay, well, that's a, that is a lot of to take in, dude. I kind of want to go check the thread on this. I assume there's going to be a lot of GGG posts explaining the mechanics of this. There better, better be. There better be. Um, are there any? No, there isn't. What? 
It doesn't look like it at least. Yeah, there's nothing. It was posted like 10, 11 hours ago and there's nothing on it. Ugh. Okay. Well, yeah, it looks... A lot of this looks really good. A lot of this sounds really good. We kind of need to see the numbers, obviously. I would, I, I would assume they're gonna make the numbers good enough. Because they look fucking amazing and it would be sad for them to suck. And the discharge chains is obviously trying to lure Crip back. I see through you, okay? This is def this is this is an attempt to get Crip back. Making it better for self-casting and including a devastating ignite in the bo in the back here. Yeah. They want Crip to come back and make the burning discharge. Well yeah. Yo, I'm excited of a lot of this stuff. Hopefully I get myself to actually play with this. Not sure about the steel skills. I, I, I don't know, for some reason I never really got super excited of this, but the shattering steel actually does look decent now. And not needing to go right in the side slash in front of a target to actually do any damage is a good thing. But just wonder how much the damage, like, I wonder how, it, Probably lost single target damage with the change, but it has like a better damage when you're not right up in the mobs. The Firestorm looked amazing. Intensify changes are good. The pinpoint support, I, I like it. Crackling Lions looks amazing. Total Blazing Salvo. It's just like the numbers have to be good enough. Also, the Glacial Cascade being 100% conversion is, is big. It remains to be seen how good it's gonna be on like minor spots for self-casting. I'm excited, dude. 